All right, fellas, it's Sunday, the 11th. I haven't had time to do any hunting. And I uh, had church, and then my daughter had to recite all day. And now I got supper uh, in the oven. So, but I wanted to come up here and, and make a video of, of these squareback knives that I've been digging up. And, and they're really nice. When it comes to finding big blades and square backs and it not being transitional, these are these are pretty nice. And I know they're broke. I know they're broke. But this is one I got yesterday. And I'm not for sure. I don't I really don't think they're sedalia. They're not a I don't I don't think they're a sedalia type. So, but you know, it might be same, might be same same time period. <clears throat> this was the better one. This one's pretty much broken in half. It, uh, you can see, this one's pretty ground. The other one was ground. This one's uh, pretty heavily ground from right here to about right here, and it's white and it has these maroon spots in it this side isn't as uh, well as flaked but it's you know it's thin use with the head I guess I don't know what to call them y'all tell me I found them two yesterday um, with, and this one was pretty close, but I really don't think this is the same type. Uh, it's not, this side is big flakes, and you could tell it had been broken and resharpened. That's pretty much square, and you can see how it's off. <laughs> but it is whole, and I did hit it. Let me see. There it is. You see that white speck right there? Yeah. That's me. And uh, I really don't think they're the same. The same point type. And excuse me for the light, the fluorescent. <clears throat> and these two pretty much are identical though. And I found this one a couple of days ago. It's a nice square back. And I really do think they were finished by face. Uh, might have been handheld. Might have been hafted. I don't know. Uh, this one isn't as heavily ground as the other one that's identical to this. But it's pretty thin. So I didn't know what to call them. It's pretty neat to, to find everything off one site and put it all together when it comes to archaeological standpoint and and I really enjoy it. It's become a passion. Uh, it's eating at me not to be able to go every day. When you know the stuff's in the ground all you gotta do is go get it. Alright. That's enough rambling. Y'all take care. Have a good night.